so let's talk about the design. I think it has achieved a timeless design. There is not much one can change about a rectangular design, but yeah, if you want something new, they do have flips and folds. So I think I'm pretty much satisfied with the design. And I don't even want them to drastically change every year because it makes a design statement. Yeah, but the quirks remain. But I think side rails paint is not quite durable. It gets scratched pretty easily even with normal covers. Also, it's difficult to find good glass guards for the screen as it's curved. Now let's talk about the cameras. With updates, camera has improved marginally, but still, it has the infamous shutter lag. I was expecting that after iPhone has given default 50 megapixel photos, Samsung would give an update to at least use the 50 megapixel out of 200 but with the processing algorithm that the 12 megapixel has because clearly the 8 Gen 2 is far more capable than that. But I guess they will keep this for the S24 Ultra if they want to do it at all. As far as quality of photos and videos is concerned, I think I am pretty much satisfied. Also one thing that I found was that they haven't updated to switch at 4K 60fps while recording the video. So you can use 4K 60fps with other lenses too, but while recording 4K 60fps video in a 1x lens, you cannot switch to other lenses while the video is filming. Now many people say that they have over sharpening, but I think with these small sensors, it's better to have little sharpening than muddy photos. So let's talk about the software and performance. Well, I'll have to say I have good news here. First of all, One UI has matured enough that it doesn't have any lag whatsoever for a person who is not a geek like us. Because there might be a frame drop or two, but if we see the larger picture, it's buttery smooth, maybe because of 8 Gen 2 or One UI, but whatever be the reason, it's very consistent. Generally, third-party apps are infamous on Android, but I haven't found any major problem as compared to iOS. Maybe cosmetically, iOS may have a little prettier interface in apps, but nothing major. Still, I will say that pixels have some kind of smoothness that Samsung can adapt, but if you're using Samsung, you won't notice anything. Also, 8 Gen 2 is so much better with power efficiency than pixels, or I would even say that it's better than the Apple's A16. But as I have suggested in my last video, Samsung should come up with an overhaul with its software like Apple did when they switched from iOS 6 to 7 years back. There is no problem with current design, but it's been years and repeated users want something new. In my opinion, Qualcomm is doing better than Apple in chips as they know how to keep the chips cool and efficient even with such demanding apps. And also even though 8 Gen 3 is out, I think 8 Gen 2 is no slouch. Also, I think that adding overperformance without cooling <coughs> iPhone is a worse decision than having a little underpowered chip but with consistent performance. I'll cover the battery part in a minute. Let's talk about the little details. I couldn't find any defect in call quality, earpiece, buttons or speakers. Everything is of top quality and can be compared to any flagship which was launched in last 6 months. I would like to say my two words for the S Pen. So I think S Pen is that part of the phone which I rarely use, but I do have friends who use it a lot. It would be so great if Samsung could give a variant which does not have an S Pen but has an additional 500 mAh battery. I know that's too much to ask for, but let's just wish. Okay, so let's talk about the battery. This is one of my favorite parts because I'm so happy with it. It has really, really good battery backup even after 8 months of use. Generally, I have noticed that iPhones have great battery at the start and in 6-7 to seven months they start draining fast. But this is not the situation here. They have really improved battery backup year after years since Galaxy S6. And I must say, you won't have any complaints with the battery. Samsung is improving on battery year after year. So that's for me in this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.